Hello guys, I'm the Dart Frog and in this video I'm going to show you possibly the best farm I can make in this game. So as you can see I have a ton of broccoli planted down and in about 6 minutes a raid is gonna happen. So let's see how this goes. So this farm actually generates not only food that you can plant but also generates for example metal, component kits, warehouse keys, batteries and more. So this is pretty much an ultimate farm in this game. But I almost forgot to actually water my crops, so let's do this real quick. I go in here, actually I also have to connect these buttons to the toilet right here. And let's water this. Now apparently I missed the line, but it's fine. And there we go, all crops are now watered. So it's about 4 minutes until the raid, but we can already start the soul baits, cause why not? Also click disclaimer, for this video I'm using stuff like for example God Mode, or for example Unlimited Inventory and similar stuff. However, you can totally do this without that, and it shouldn't affect your ability to make this in your own world. And if you want to enable stuff like for example developer commands by yourself, I actually have a tutorial on how you can do it and the link is in the top right corner right now. So I guess just don't build your list shack too close to the edge or else farmbots will try to eat you. And apparently it works on tapebots a little bit as well. However they don't seem to react to soul blades very nicely so it's probably a bug and I'm probably gonna have to report it to Axelot. So at least for now you'll have to deal with those guys by yourself. But with this farm spuds really won't be an issue. Unfortunately the biggest flaw on this design is that the big farm bots can actually sometimes take one or two soul bees out but it shouldn't be too big of a deal considering how much metal and other resources you get from it. Okay so maybe let's talk about different parts of this farm. Alright so the most important thing about this farm is obviously the crop field. As you can see I have a really really big amount of soil in here. All have broccoli planted on them. So that's seriously a lot of broccoli in one go. I also have this little watering system which, not, which might not be the most efficient, but it does the job pretty nicely. Now one thing though, this pipe right here actually doesn't give water to those, because apparently if you try to carry water through a vacuum pipe across large distances, the game lags really really badly, so instead, as soon as I had to connect all of those to the vacuum pipes over there, but apparently they got disconnected for some reason. So unlike this one, I suggest you build your farm close to water so you don't have to worry about water too much. Other than that, the watering system is pretty simple. Just a few pistons, some water guns, as well as a little bit of a support wheels on the sides. They aren't even attached to anything actually. And the water cannons are also hooked up to a little clock right here. Uh, so apparently this got disconnected because this thing got disconnected because of the farm boat incident. So this leads us to the second part of it, which is the little shack. However, as you can see, I made a great mistake by building this close to the barrier. And because of that, the, farm, the big red farm bots could reach inside and break it. But the fix for that is simple. Simply make this either higher up or somewhere more in the middle, more further away from the walls. Or you can simply extend the walls further. And in here, I had a little toilet over here so I can observe what's going on around me. A respawn bed, some battery containers for the soul blades, a small chest and a few buttons to control the final thing. And the last but not least is of course the barrier with the soul blades. So you might be wondering why am I using these knockout bags to drop when you die in scrap mechanic and the reason for that is that those are totally indestructible and the fact the only way to get rid of them is taking out 
the contents and then it will despawn. I explain more about them in a separate video and the link to that is in the top right corner right now. The only difference in here is that those don't have the little icon on them because to make it easier for me to show you this design I actually just took those from the unlimited inventory instead of just farming them and welding them but other than the icon missing they work exactly the same and you will actually probably want two layers of those one at the bottom to which you will attach the soul blades and one at the top to stop enemies from going over them because as you could see the b-red farm bots were actually jumping on those and getting blocked on the top ones and then they were taking continuous damage from the soul blade now as you could see probably from the behavior of the hay bots and top bots mostly Normally bots are scared of soul blades, however I found out that when soul blades are placed close to each other in large quantities like this right here, the, pot, the bots tend to back away a few times and then rush in anyway and just get torn apart by the soul blades. And I'm pretty sure this design is actually pretty much infinitely expandable, but I kinda doubt you're gonna need more than what's in here. Alright, but that's pretty much it, remember not to build your safety shack too close to the wall, as well as make your farm somewhere closer to a water source because attaching all of those from all the distance was a lot of muscle and if you can think of any improvements for this tell me down in the comments or on my discord server i will gladly take a look at it so i hope you enjoyed leave thumbs up if you did and subscribe for more content like this i was the and i hope to see you in another one bye